in the land of Skyrim, there lived a man. His name was Plinplon, and he had everything really hard in life because he played on Legendary. It also felt like he had lived through this intro a thousand times. Plinplon is very surprised he is not dead. For he is on legendary, and that Imperial ambush probably would have killed him. Plinplon feels that he should be here for all the travesties he has caused back in his hometown of Lordran. But Sovereign Guard awaits. Plinplon has no idea what Sovereign Guard is. Knows he's going to say Rorikstead. I'm from Rorikstead. Rorikstead. I'm. I'm from Rorikstead. Plinplon looks at these walls and thinks... They are very small. They would not ward off a dragon. He wondered why he thought that, and then had a feeling of deja vu once again. Plinplon has accepted his fate. You can't do this! Halt! You're not gonna kill me! Archers! Anyone else feel like... Plinplon thinks... Wait. That man was also playing on Legendary. You from one of the strongholds, Zork. Plinplon is actually from a place called Lordran. He doesn't know how he got here. Plinplon also knows that the priest lady will say, As we commend your souls to Ethereus, blessings of the eight divines upon you. Plinplon is shocked at the fact that this man didn't just reload his autosave. I know, Mr. Executioner. Plinplon then thinks, Oh look, a dragon. Then he realizes he is on legendary difficulty, and he screams. Hello? Plinplon just stood on fire and almost died immediately. Plinplon always goes with Hadvar, because if you go with Rayloff, you are a scrub. Please. Please untie me. Thank you very much. Take a look around. Plinplon is more of a goblin than an orc. It is time to fight some Stormcloaks and probably die. Advar, you go first. I'm going to hide close. It is time for Plinplon to unleash his true power. This is great for Plinplon because Hadvar is just tanking it. Hey, if anything, his skills are going to go up quickly. Plinplon's first victim. More victims for the glorious goblin that has Plinplon. Plinplon wants to run away now. Plinplon's first goal shall be to get a follower who can take the brunt of the hits. Who am I? I can't remember who I'm attacking. Who am I on the side of? Plinplon got good at this in his time in the sewers of the place he lived. Plinplon must wear a hood to hide his face, for he is ashamed. Plinplon is so terrified that he sprints ahead of everyone. Here we have many enemies, and he realizes he made a mistake in charging ahead of his companions, and is now running away. There will be many times in this video where he runs away. Oh no. Plinplon is dead. <laughs> Why is he back here? No, not me. Leave me alone. Plinplon now realizes he must also be... A healing mage. Plinplon feels uncomfortable in this place, almost as if he has experienced pain here once before. Plinplon feels like this might once again be the end, but Plinplon was wrong, for he is here once again, alive and well. <laughs> Plinplon knows a hack, how he, he almost killed himself. Plinplon has leveled up. He feels stronger. He feels as if he has travelled these tunnels many times before. He does not need a guide. Plinplon's worst fear is spiders. So he naturally embraces his orc instinct of kill everything he is afraid of. And he realises he is surrounded. And he runs away. He still looks very depressed. Plinplon takes out his bow. He lines up his shot. Gets ready to fire. 
and decides against it and carries on walking. For he is a coward. Plimplon's slow reaction times almost stop him from seeing the dragon that flew overhead. It's probably best if we split up. Yes, we should probably split up, says Plinplon, and then he realizes he is playing on Legendary, and decides to stick with Hadvar, even though Hadvar told him to go away. This happens in Plinplon's life many times. Many people tell him to go away. You should go to Solitude and join up with the Imperial Legion. Plinplon decides to join the Stormcloaks. Oh my god, why are you so slow? Plinplon just realized he called himself Plin Plin instead of Plinplon. <laughs> However, Plinplon is always Plinplon, even if he's not called Plinplon. What else have we seen? There's no other enemies on the map, how far, Jesus. Pimplon looks upon this town and thinks, Wow, what a dump. While Hadvar talks to his uncle, Plinplon thinks, I should probably get a follower, and immediately looks at this young boy who is living in the town. He thinks, He would be a good meat shield, my friend. Camilla Valerius knows I'm the Are best man in Riverwood. Plinplon is very sar sarcastic, and he says, Yes. Two people spending time together never blossoms into courtship. Is that sarcasm? I've heard better wisecracks from Orgnar. Let me give you a particularly venomous letter. Say it's from Thangle. Finn Plon decides he should give Camilla this fake letter because he is a devious little shit. Here, I have a letter from Fengal. Flynn Plon is already making enemies. Where is Sven? It is time to make friends. Sven is in the tavern. Lovely. He's probably drinking lots of alcohol because he knows I'm about to ask him to come and die with me. Do you even have a weapon? Would you like a weapon? Partially, my friend, I have no weapons for you, but I do have this Imperial Light Helmet. In the land of Skyrim, Plinplon is beginning to know his place. He can make anyone do anything as long as he does a quest for them. I don't care what you're talking about. Goodbye. Plinplon's true journey begins now with his loyal companion Sven and his Imperial Light Helmet. Seeing the people who just walked up to him to greet him, Plinplon immediately shoots fire out of his hands. He decides everyone is a threat. Every single person in Legendary is a threat, except his best friend Sven, who is probably dead. He is stuck on a rock. Sven, please help me. Yes, yes, this is, this is going well. Thinks Plinplon. Plinplon embraces his orcish heritage, even though he's not an orc, he's a goblin, and puts on some iron armor that definitely does not suit him because he is so skinny. As he looks out across the tower, across the snowy peaks of the Skyrim mountains, he thinks to himself, God, I wish I was an actual orc and not this skinny weird goblin thing. He feels the presence of enemies. He draws his mace and he strikes and almost dies immediately and runs away. Plinplon is almost dead. He must run. Plimpon agrees. He would be very easy to rob when he was dead. He's probably very easy to rob now, too. He is very surprised. He won in a fight. Sven, why are you shooting me? Are we going to have to have words? Plimpon once again realizes he is bested and runs away. Plimpon is the cowardly goblin. He weaves and strikes and then falls off the cliff and almost dies. He charges and he strikes once again, this time knocking the man off the cliff, who then took damage and died. Sven, my friend. He says, I have a reward for you. I have picked up some armor that you may wear, even though you now have no clothes on. <laughs> Plimplon then decides he doesn't want to venture inside the horrible looking dungeon. He decides he wants to go for a walk in this direction, down the sheer side of the cliff, where he could potentially die very easily. He falls and takes some damage. But he is very used to this, for he is Plimplon. His entire life is damage. Plimplon sees a very small rat on the floor. This rat thinks it can take him. Well, Plimplon the Cowardly Goblin tells him otherwise. Ah, a bandit. That is just Sven. <laughs> Plimplon looks at this town and thinks, Wow, this would also be very vulnerable to dragon attack. There are the roofs. Plimplon realizes that not every building is just a building. Some of them are walls to keep buildings inside. Plinplon slaps his head and thinks, Duh, I am an idiot. He sees a man in armor and thinks, Poor, oh, I am on legendary difficulty. That man could definitely kill me. Oh. Plinplon starts as this man begins to talk to him, but then he realizes the man is friendly and says, Riverwood calls for the Arl's aid. He looks around at all these buildings and thinks, Ah, my orcish tribe could pillage this very easily. 
and then he realises he has no orcish tribe because he is a goblin and not an orc. He then cries quietly as he walks towards the massive castle in front of him. A woman approaches him with a sword. He immediately soils himself and then realises she is just on guard. She will not kill him. You saw this dragon with your own eyes? Actually, it was a wyvern, says Plimplon, as he is a goblin and he would know these things. Plimplon wants to get warm, so he steps away from everyone and says, Here, talk to my male stripper friend, Sven. Yes, my yarl. Plimplon is eager for whatever reward the Jarl is about to give him. He got steel armor, he is very happy. Suitable for someone of your particular talents? Plimplon reminds Jarl Bulworth that he has no talents other than running away from things. How do I look, Sven? Sven stares at him blankly, as Sven is a mindless NPC and cannot talk. Looking at this wizard, he thinks, You are definitely a wizard. Plimplon looks around and thinks, Who is talking to me? Plinplon must prepare for his journey to the nether realm of Bleak Falls Barrow, which he realizes he was just there and could have got it at that time. But he was an idiot and decided to run away because he was scared. I'm going to end this video here. I know this was very different. I don't know if I'll do another one, but um, if you like it, comment down below. I'll do more on the ballad of Plinplon, the cowardly goblin. But yeah, this was actually quite fun to do. I'll, I'll leave it here with Plinplon and Sven preparing to go to Bleak Falls Barrow. I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed, please do leave a like. That would be awesome. Uh, if you want to see more from me, you could consider subscribing, which would be really cool. I've got content coming out daily at the moment. There should be a window that's just appeared with a vid another video from me and a subscription bubble. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye! Oh.